Stop recording. Check. Normal person. Student details dash accelerator one column four four four. Okay, so good evening again. Just let me know if everything is uh, working fine. And then we will start with today's topic. Sheet to the table, align center, vertical, align middle, SR dot, no dot, tattoo, unknown cursor. Just reply me in comment section. If everything is working fine. Okay. Okay, I am I'm mute. Normal cursor. Meet dash advanced Excel class by data sir dash Google Chrome row one column two two four. Student details dash Excel. Okay, so let's start Unknown with cursor. today's class. Uh, we have done with uh, this particular table on which we have learned a lot of home type functions and we will learn some more functions today. I hope all of you have opened uh, the Excel and same sheet in the Excel. Now, uh, sometimes it is possible that you may get data in which text and number means numbers and text may be there in sa same column and your boss may instruct you to separate numbers and text in two different columns. Let's create the case. In same sheet, just go to any blank column. Okay. In this column, let's type four or five names and four or five numbers together. Just one name, one number, one name, one number. Just do this. Type five names and five numbers. Any number you can type, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, whatever you want. Just type any number. I will type five names. Align default. Okay. Align default vertical align default. So here I have typed few numbers K10. and few align names. Default, align default. K10. I will read it for you. A pile of K9. Align center vertical align middle. Tejas K2. Tejas. Align default vertical align default. 123 K3. This is the number. A mole K4. This is name again. Maturi K5. 251 K6. Pragati K7. 1235 K8, Apollo K9, K10. Now just imagine you have more than thousands of entries and your boss tells you that I want these numbers in separate column and in the, uh, the these names in separate column. How you are going to do this? Do you know any way? Because we cannot co use copy paste or uh, means we, are, we can use copy paste but not in conventional way. So how we are going to do this? Abhay sir, just you can rejoin. Yeah, I, I hope you will be able to hear me. Transpose. No, no, there should be better option. Transpose will only shift your data. Okay. Split. 
okay split cells okay no no let's learn such trick which will reduce our work see what we will do we will select this data and we will copy all numbers first and we will paste those numbers in different cell different column and then we will copy all the text and we will uh, what we will do we will paste in different column so let's make two new columns here l10 l1 l2 let's make this column as text ft text and let's make this column as default, 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 uh, let's make this as number number let's make this as number now in text column align i will paste vertical, text all L2. the text entries and in number column i will paste all the number align entries vertical, align middle, text L2. Text L2. okay so for that i will select the data and i will use go to special function what i am going to use i am going to use go to special function so let's do this and let's learn how to do this k2 the line default vertical line k2 the line center vertical line middle k2 okay so let's select your data means just select your column k2 data through k9 to file selected row 2 through 9 column 11 quick analysis available like this i have selected and go means press f5 for going to go to dialog box go to dialog go to colon reference colon and alt plus r line left plan normal cursor now press tab for special go to colon list title line 5 dtz special dot 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 but no plus s special just press enter or space student details dash excel available <clears throat> now here these numbers and text they belongs to constant category so let's find constant here go to special dialog select constant radio button check alt plus o okay this is the second radio button in constant there are two three types of entries what are those let's press tab and we will get to know Numbers checkbox check out plus you. Numbers. Text checkbox check out plus X. Text. Logical checkbox check out plus G. Normal Logicals. cursor. Expert cursor. Errors checkbox check out plus E. And errors. These are the four types. Now, first of all, let's copy the text. Means here, uh, uh, the all are selected because all the checkboxes are checked. But we want to select only text. So let's uncheck all the boxes. Space not checked. Logical checkbox check out plus G. Space not checked. Not checked. Text checkbox check out plus X. We want this as check. Numbers checkbox check out plus U. Space not checked. Okay. And just press enter. Student details dash Excel. Sheet 2 table. K2 data through K6 251 selected row 2 column 11. Unknown cursor. Okay. Now your text entries will be selected. Only text entries will be selected. And now just copy these entries. Wait cursor, unknown cursor, copy. And paste in text column. Align center, vertical, align middle. Text L2. So just paste here. So all the names will be pasted in this column. Just you can see, I have pasted. L3 data through L7 of file selected row. Align default, vertical, align default. Combole L4. With your L5. Pregadi L6. A file L7, L8, a file L7. Okay, you won't be able to see any number in this column because we have selected only text using go to special. And that's how we can copy paste. Test, uh, text means specific text from may, multiple numbers and we can paste here. Now let's do this thing with number again and you can follow me and learn this thing Pregani K7 okay now again you will have to select the same range 
the line center vertical line middle text case the name uh, numbers and text is mixed the line default vertical line default k1 the line center vertical line middle text case two okay so k2, i have quick selected available. this and i'm going to go to dialog box go to dialog go to colon reference colon edit alt plus r line left blank normal cursor let's go to special go to colon list title line 5 dt 027 special dot 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 button alt plus space student details dash excel available Go to special dialog, select comments, radio button, check out plus C. You can select this much type of, uh, means these many type of things using go to special. Constance radio button, check out plus O. Formulas radio button, check out plus F. Blanks radio button, check out plus K. Current region radio button, check out plus R. Current array radio button, check out plus A. Row differences radio button, check out plus double. Column differences radio button, check out plus M. Precedence radio button, check out plus P. Dependence radio button, check out plus D. Last cell radio button, check out plus S. Visible cells only radio button, check out plus Y. Objects radio button check alt plus D. Conditional formats radio button check alt plus D. Data validation radio button check alt plus D. Comments radio button check alt plus C. Constants radio button check alt plus O. Okay, so we are going to learn all these functions, but whenever they are necessary. So right now we are dealing with constants. So let's select numbers this time by pressing tab and we will move to check boxes. Numbers check box check alt plus U. Now let this checked and others. Text checkbox check alt plus X. Space not checked. Logical checkbox check alt plus space not checked. Error checkbox check alt plus E. Space not checked. And hit enter. Now numbers will be selected. Student details dash Excel. Sheet 2 table. K3123 through K5 with URI selected row 3 column 11. Unknown cursor. And just copy this. Microsoft Excel dialog. This action 150 work on multiple oh, okay, selections. Okay, dot. Okay, okay, button. Okay. Student details dash Excel. Sheet 2 table. Just let me copy cursor, this. Copy, cursor. Huh. Now I have copied the numbers and I'm going to paste it in number column. The line center vertical line middle. Take L3. Number M2. The line default vertical line default M3. Let's paste it. And now see your numbers and names are separated. M 251 M4 1235 M5 1235 M5 M7 Okay, so these three are the numbers only. You can do this thing by this way in less time. Okay, let me go through your comment section. Comments. Paste. Which option you are not getting, Priya? If you are not getting these checkboxes, you can press tab when you reach to constants. Just reach constant in go to special and then you can press tab for getting these options, getting these checkboxes. Okay, process. See, when you will get this kind of data where numbers and uh, text uh, will be in same column, what you are supposed to do? See, logically, you are going to select numbers first and you will copy paste in different column. And uh, next time you are going to select text and then you will go uh, paste in uh, other column. So logically, you just have to select the things which you want. Right. In first case, you want to select only numbers from the, uh, the column. And in second case, you are going to select only the text. So logic behind uh, that function uh, is this, uh, this only. Now, for this, you can use go to special function. What go to sp uh, special function will do for you? It will select only that thing which you will tell it to select. So the number and text belongs to constant category. That's why we have selected constant radio button and then in that constant radio button there are four types of constant number, text, uh, then errors and what uh, else 
I think there were uh, some formulas. I think no, no formulas. No, there was some another options. Third option was uh, some uh, different. So <coughs> these four types of constants are there. So if you uncheck all the boxes and as, uh, ex uh, this except numbers or text, so it will select only that thing. Means it will select only numbers. It will select only text, whatever you want, and then you can copy and paste it suppose sometimes your boss instruct you uh, so uh, do just one thing there are errors in this data so delete all the rows where uh, where you find error now it will be difficult for you to find the errors and uh, delete uh, each error it is very difficult right in thousands of entries just use go to special go to constant find the errors and you can delete that's the thing so that is the beauty of this go to special function and read this go to special dialog carefully what are the options available for selection and we are going to deal with all kinds of things today we have dealt with uh, uh, constant the number and text uh, later on we will deal with all the options whenever it is necessary we have dealt no, we have used blanks also sometimes we will select formulas sometimes we will select whatever we want okay so i hope this uh, is clear to you Errors means, uh, suppose if there is error in formula, if any formula is not working or uh, uh, there is textual error, so it can de uh, detect. We are also going to rectify and uh, select the errors using this function, uh, this function. Okay, before go to special, do we need to select? No, no, entire, you can select either entire column or you can select that, uh, uh, that particular data range. Ultimately, it, it is going to select uh, whatever you are going to instruct through go to special. Uh, just one more thing I will allow Priya to speak uh, she is not able to perform this function for just only for Priya and then I will mute meet dash advanced itself plus I say sir dash desktop content share dash google chrome dash air calendar Normal cursor. Unknown cursor. Normal cursor. Yes, Priya, you can speak now. Sir, uh, I copied the numbers separately, sir. But uh, when I copy the text separately, I'm not getting the go to dialog box, sir. Instead of that, I'm getting that all the numbers oh, are already selected over there, sir. Yes, for uh, selecting text again, you will have to select data again okay sir and then you can go to special uh even in that case i'm not getting the go to dialog box sir f5 key is not working sir okay did you selected your data yes sir which is there in the mixed column where uh, row, uh, the text and numbers are together yes sir i selected sir but uh, even uh, uh, after unselecting i saw that uh, there are some small dots around the uh, numbers sir Okay, means these uh, the numbers are copied. No, that's why uh, it is showing some small dots. Okay, sir. So you can just press uh, escape and you can select your data. If F5 is not working, you can use Control G. Okay, sir. And then it will work. Okay, now let's do uh, another thing. Smooth the tail, catch itself. It's working now, sir. Yes. Unknown cursor. 
okay now let's do uh, another thing suppose there are some blank rows in your data face group and face check key normal cursor face group student detail patch itself okay so there are some blank rows in your data and your boss tells you cursor. that you have to delete all the blank rows your boss tells you uh, just uh, delete all the blank rows from this data how you are going to do this at a time how how you are going to delete uh, hundreds of blank rows in your thousands of entries just do let me know what you can do for this is there any option which can help you to delete hundreds of blank rows together from thousands of entries you know that logic how to do it you know yes through blanks in go to means just remember the logic behind every functions don't learn functions without logic there is logic behind every function in excel and when you will learn that logic or if you remember that logic you will be able to solve problems which are uh, different in nature or which are flexible or you you can face interview questions by applying the logic so see you can select blank rows using go to special it's very easy if there are some blank rows in your data or if there are some blank columns in your data you can go to special and select blank rows and you can press alt hd and you can delete if you press alt hdr it will delete rows so that's how you can make it sometimes simple things makes our mind complicated but when you will you when you will be aware of logic it will be easy for you so please try to get logic behind each and every excel function like uh, be, uh, behind this function text and uh, numbers go to is a common option for solving this kind of problem okay now let's learn another thing in excel you must be aware about number formats as all of you know basics of excel <clears throat> do i need to repeat number format again just let me know in the comment section if i okay uh, let's not learn uh, number formats but we will use number formats <clears throat> we will use number formats along with thousand separators also okay so there are different number formats such as date time currency uh, then uh, your uh, number text general so uh, these number formats we have already discussed in our introduction lecture how currency is written how date is written how time is written how uh, the financial number is written that's what we are going to do here we can change the number of number formats of selected data through an excel function called number formatting for example 
L10. K10. Here are some amounts. J10. I10. Align center vertical align middle 59,000 H10 price. Okay. So suppose uh, here price in go to just your uh, go to your price column. 100. 100. 49,875. Price H2SR dot no dot. Okay. Now just go to this function. Uh, go to this column. Now if I tell you to change this <coughs> number format to currency. Change this number format to currency. And that also in Indian currency. That is rupee. Means I want rupee symbol in front of these numbers. I want rupee symbol in front of these numbers. So how I am going to do it? Some of you may be uh, aware with this function, but let's use it for revision fun uh, revision purpose. So we will select this data. H2 price from H32 49,000 selected row 2 through 32 column 8. Quick analysis available. And we will press control 1. Control Unknown 1. Cursor. App start cursor. Normal cursor. For format dialog box. Here are some categories. As per the number formats, here are some categories. Let's see what are those. Format cells dialog general format cells have no specific student details. Okay. Okay button. Cancel button. Format cells tab control. Number tab selected. Number Category colon list general number currency accounting date time percentage fraction scientific text These are the number formats you can explore this dialog so you will be getting an idea what are the number formats uh, are there in excel so let's go to currency here scientific fraction percentage time date Accounting. Currency. Currency. And let's press tab here. Decimal places colon. Edit plus D plan. So if you want decimal places like 10,000.00, 1,000.00, like this. Or 10,000.1, 10,000.2. So you can type the number of decimal places here. I will type two decimal, uh, two. So it will uh, be printing two decimal places for me. So I will type two here. Two. And I will press tab because I want rupee sign here. Two. And when you will press tab symbol after colon, this, combo box, rupee, plus S. Huh, you will go to symbol. So here in symbol, there are symbols of various currencies, rupee, dollar and all the things. So from there, you will have to get rupee for you. You will have to get rupee for you. And now just hit enter. 